I can use the if function together, with the and function in Excel, and when you use a function together another function, it's called it nested function. Or when you use a function within another function, it's a nested function, okay? So here I have a really good example, a practical example, where I have uh, some students, the score of each one of these students, the absence, with the absence I mean, uh, when the students did not go to the school when he was supposed to go, okay? So this is the absence. And I have also the status that is blank for now. However, I need to fill in this status, follow this message that I have here. So let's read it. In an automatic way, fill in the status column with approve it if the students get at least 65 for score and less than 10 for absence, and if not, disapprove it. So we need to follow these two conditions. The student need at least 65 for score and less than 10 for the absence. If these two conditions, two criteria are met, the student is approved. Or if not, the student is disapproved. So I hope this to all the students get approved. So let's make it with the if function in Excel. However, we cannot just use the if function alone in this situation here because the if function just allow us. So let me show you equal sign if function. Let me just double click it, for example. Okay, I know the Excel, the most recent versions have the ifs with the the s in the final, okay, in the in the suffix ifs function. This function here in the Excel can solve our problem. However, if you do not have ifs in your Excel, just go with the if function and the and function within the if function because it can solve your problem, okay? So let me show you here that the if function just allow you to use one single criteria. If you need to use two criteria, three, uh, 10 criteria, the if function will not allow you to do that. So this is why you need to use and function within the if function. The first thing the if function asks me is what is my logical test? In my logical test, I need to check if the score is at least 65. I mean, if this first student here, uh, let's say his score is 65, okay, he's approved. However, this is not the only criteria that I need to look up. There is another criteria, that is the absence. The absence needs to be less than 10, okay? So if it's less than 10, it's okay. However, how can I use these two criteria, two conditions to put inside the if function? I cannot, so this is why I need to use the AND function within the if function here in Excel. So let me double click it in the AND function, one, two, to select, okay. Now, okay, I can use as many as cri criteria that I need. So I have the logical one, logical tr two, logical three, and so on. So let me just select the first logical task here for Excel. I need the, the score needs to be greater than 65. However, it's not just greater than 65, at least 65. Or if the student get a score of 65, okay, he's approved. He needs to at least take a 65 for a score. So I cannot just use this greater than sign, okay? I cannot just use the greater than sign. I, can, I, I need to also use the equal sign after the greater sign. So let me just read aloud for you. Here I just select the cell. This cell that I'm checking, the score, needs to be greater than or equal to 65, okay? Now I just go here and press comma, and I'm gonna enter the second logical criteria that I have. So the absence, that is the number that I have here in the left, needs to be less than 10. It can be equal to 10. No, just less than 10, okay? So I'm gonna close parentheses, comma, and now I'm gonna enter the value if it's true. So if it is true, conditions, true criteria are true, are met, I want the approved word to appear. However, I need to type in the status, the approved, in between quotations in between quotations marks. So let me just open here the quotation mark and then approve it and then close quotations mark, okay? Comma. And if one or the both criteria are not met, I need to type it in disapprove it. So let me just open quotations mark, disapprove.
prove it, close quotations mark, close parentheses, and then I'm gonna press enter. And let's check it out the first status data we get here. Approve it. Yeah, it's right because the score is greater than or equal to 65. In this case, in this situation here, is 98. 98 is greater than 65, is not equal to, however, it's greater than. So, okay, approve it. And our second condition is the absence, and the absence is less than 10. So, yeah, approve it. And if we just check the second student here, even though the absence is good, the score is not good. So, he's disapproved it. And if I just click in this function that I just did, I'm gonna click, hold, and drag down here in the corner of the cell, okay? Or I just need to double click it in the corner of the cell. One, two, okay. Now I just automate the task and my and function within the if function in Excel are helping me to just get this correct status when the student are approved or disapproved. I hope this tutorial can help you out to use the if function together with the end function here in Excel. And of course, as I show you in the beginning of the video, instead of you use just the if function with the end function, you can use the ifs function, okay? Because here you can just select multiple, many, many criteria, okay? So here is a, a better function. However, not ever Excel version has that function, that specific function. I hope this video can help you out. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.